The Walt Disney Company has officially kicked off the Disney 100 celebration at the Disneyland Resort, and I wanted to share all things you don't want to miss when visiting during this 100 Years of Wonder celebration. This year-long celebration officially kicked off on Friday, January 27th, and I was there for the opening day festivities. Not only were the parks looking their best in Disney 100 decor, but there were new nighttime spectaculars, special entertainment and character opportunities, all new attractions, and so much more. So let's get into it. <laughs> First, starting off at Disneyland Park, as discussed previously on this channel, Disneyland is dripping in all new decor to help celebrate Disney's 100th anniversary, and you don't want to miss it. Sleeping Beauty Castle is now dressed in style with shimmering bunting, banners, and medallions. Let's not forget two new water fountains also added to either side of the moat, which hopefully stay long after the celebration ends. This decor also takes on a whole new life at night as well, and really shines as the perfect backdrop for Disneyland's new nighttime spectacular, Wondrous Journeys, which we'll get to a little bit later. There are also new statues of Mickey and Minnie Mouse, a super shiny Disneyland monorail, and decorations all throughout Main Street USA, really bringing together a cohesive theme. I honestly feel this is the best marketing slash celebration campaign the parks have had since the 60th anniversary Diamond Celebration at Disneyland back in 2015 and 16, and I really do hope you enjoy it as much as I did. As far as attractions, there's a brand new 100 Years of Wonder exhibit in the Disney Gallery, which for those that don't know, is the foyer of the Great Moments with Mr. Lincoln attraction on Main Street. The expanded exhibit features artwork, maquettes, historical items like the multiplane camera and this original animator's desk, to other physical props paying homage to how the films inspired attractions at Walt Disney's original Disneyland, and then how attractions now inspired new movies later on in the company's history. You can also get a sneak peek at some of the upcoming projects coming to Disneyland in the future like Mickey's Toontown and Tiana's Bayou Adventure. You're not going to want to miss this limited time addition to Disneyland, so definitely add it to your list. Speaking of attractions, we cannot forget to talk about the all new Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway attraction in Mickey's Toontown, which also debuted at the Disneyland Resort on Friday, January 27th, and is the first ever Disneyland attraction to feature Mickey Mouse and his friends. The attraction puts you directly into the crazy and vibrant tune world of the new Mickey Mouse cartoon shorts and is a ride that can be enjoyed by the whole family due to having zero height restrictions. Runaway Railway is extremely immersive, including an amazing queue full of theming that you can tell the Walt Disney Imagineers worked really hard on making sure it fit the same vibe and style as the rest of Mickey's Toontown, where the attraction calls home. Currently, at the time of recording this video, the attraction can only be experienced in one or both of two different ways. You can obtain a boarding group using the virtual queues option in the Disneyland app, or you can purchase an individual lightning lane per guest for an additional fee. If you want to know more, I have an episode going over both options in detail on my 5571 podcast live now for you to listen to, and I'll link that in the description below. Now, let's get into the entertainment, which is where the Disney 100 celebration really shines. On Main Street USA, you can find all the characters dressed to the nines in their all-new platinum-infused dapper costumes. Keep in mind, they were extremely popular with the guests, so make sure to prioritize meeting and greeting with Mickey and his friends earlier in the morning if this is something you wanted to do. You can find them in all different spots throughout Town Square on Main Street with opportunities to meet Mickey, Minnie, Daisy, Donald, Goofy, Pluto, and Chippendale. You can also see the characters dressed in their dapper attire in the all new Disney 100 version of the Mickey and Friends Cavalcade as well. The Cavalcade happens daily on the Disneyland Parade route at 1 p.m. at least until the Magic Happens Parade returns on February 24th, 2023. Lastly, I wanted to talk about the new nighttime spectaculars debuting at both parks during this celebration, as they were excellent options no matter where you spend your evenings. Both shows celebrate the history of the Walt Disney Company in different ways and do feature lots of your favorite characters and movies. 
World of Color 1 over at Disney California Adventure Park celebrates the storytelling started by Walt Disney a century ago and how it grew into a wave of change to all the brands we know and love today, like Pixar, Marvel, and Star Wars. To view this show, you can utilize the virtual queue section of the Disneyland app to obtain a spot in one of the reserved viewing areas during your showtime, book a World of Color 1 dining package at one of the participating restaurants in Disney California Adventure, or you can purchase a World of Color 1 dessert party package. Their virtual queues option and dining package options will provide you access to reserved viewing areas for your specific showtime, but keep in mind they are standing room only options and each area is still filled in on a first come and first serve basis. The dessert party package is the only option that will provide you with assigned and reserved seating on either a regular or high top table. It also includes premium viewing, a variety of desserts and drinks, including select alcoholic drinks, starting at around $89 a person. The show itself was probably the most vibrant version of World of Color I have seen, and I felt like there was something for everyone to take away from this show, including an excellent new original song called Start A Wave. It's definitely worth watching at least once, and I personally give the show an 8 out of 10. Finally, the star of the show was definitely the wondrous journey Fireworks Spectacular. This show celebrates the Walt Disney Company's large animated history, featuring all 62 feature films, specifically from only the Disney Animation Studios, including the all-new Disney Wish, which debuts later this year. The show is truly spectacular and a real emotional ride for any Disney animation fan, with excellent original music and newly created mashups of your favorite songs from the animated films they feature. Guests can also see characters flying in the sky above Sleeping Beauty Castle, like the Blue Fairy from Pinocchio and Baymax from Big Hero 6. Keep in mind, this fireworks spectacular is heavily focused on the projections that appear on the castle, Main Street, It's a Small World's facade, or the Rivers of America. Because of that, I do not recommend their dessert slash dinner package at the Tomorrowland Skyline Terrace because you will not be able to see any of these featured projections from your reserved viewing area in Tomorrowland. This is not really a heavy fireworks show like the previous Disneyland Forever fireworks show was. To best view the show, you simply will have to return to one of the previously mentioned viewing areas prior to that evening's performance time to best secure a spot to watch the show. Wondrous Journeys is easily one of the best Disneyland fireworks spectaculars I have ever seen, and I definitely rate this show a 10 out of 10 can't miss event. Even on nights with no fireworks and projections only, it's sure to impress. Well, that wraps up my list of must-sees during the Disney 100 celebration, and I hope you found something to add to your itinerary for your next visit. If you like this video, please hit that like button, subscribe for additional Disneyland Resort content, including more Disney 100 coverage and Disneyland Resort updates. You can also subscribe to my 5571 podcast, which is a podcast where I discuss the latest news and topics about the Disney parks and more specifically the Disneyland Resort. I will leave a link in the description below. Thanks again for watching and I will see you in the next one. Thank you.